was the mid '80s, and uh, my understanding and appreciation of music was limited to uh, movie soundtracks. Uh, back then, I was only into playing video games, pro wrestling, and movies. I never really listened to music like the Beatles or the Stones or Bruce Springsteen or even Prince. And it wasn't until the mid '80s where I started listening to uh, musicians. I think back then I was like listening to the Beatles. Um, I think one of the first records I ever got, LP's vinyl, was I won uh, a Men at Work album at, at, at the carnival, at the uh, church carnival. And um, then I started like listening to other artists like Madonna and Cyndi Lauper. And it was my, uh, my uh, brothers and sisters who were introducing me to other music and musicians. Like I know my one, one sister, my oldest sister got me into the Beatles. Uh, another sister got me into Mellencamp. My brother got me into uh, Lopper. And uh, I think he even introduced me to the boss, uh, Springsteen. And it was around that time that I discovered Prince. And I don't believe it wasn't until the movie Purple Rain came out that I really dis discovered who he was. I mean, I heard a lot about Purple Rain, and that was in my period when I was really starting to watch whatever. And um, I, I watched Purple Rain, and... I remember liking it, I, I, not being totally blown away by it, and I mean, I love the music and all, but um, there were only like a handful of things that really stuck in my mind and that I remember. Uh, the film came out in 1984, July 27, 1984, which happened to be my 14th birthday, um, and I didn't see it until it came out on VHS. And I have a feeling it's been almost 30 years since the last time I saw Purple Rain. And... Um, Sadly, it took the death of Prince uh, to actually get me to see it again. I've seen the other, his other films, Graffiti Bridge, uh, The Concert Docs, Sign of the Times, and uh, Under the Cherry Moon. But uh, Purple Rain is where it really started, and um, I felt it was a perfect opportunity to uh, revisit it. And I was looking around to find it on video and DVD, and then, thankfully, uh, movie theaters started playing it again in the on the big screen. So it's a perfect opportunity to re-experience this on the big screen, let alone for the first time in a theater. And um, I got to say that it, it didn't, I mean, musical performance wise, the movie blew me away. It, it, was, it was great. But the, the story and the, the acting performances left something to be desired. It was a pretty basic, uh, very basic 80s film. Um, there really was, a, it was a bare bones plot about a, a, a talented musician who's stuck in his in his town of uh, I guess it was Minneapolis and uh, he everybody knows he can achieve greater but he just seems to be stuck intentionally almost stuck where he is at and just needs that push to really take it to the next level and that's what the the whole film is about is uh, this artist the kid who's a talented musician and uh, he's passionate about his music, and uh, everybody around him, including other bands, uh, and they, at the at the club that they work at, uh, really say that he he should be better than he is, but he's just not, and he's just not cutting it anymore. And the film picks up in the next several days in his in in the in the kid's life, as uh, as uh, into the story enters Apollonia, a uh, a uh, beautiful woman who. Uh, wants to start out in, uh, on her own as well as a singer, as a dancer. And the film follows their story, their romance, and, the, and how the kid is uh, working his way through his, his, uh, pro his domestic problems with his family, with his parents. And the music is basically the, the one thing that you'll take away from this film. I mean, there are, there's like several for the, the opening uh, and then the end were essentially like mini concerts with Prince and they were like great, great songs. But there were a lot of other great, great moments that are ones like uh, MTV-esque music videos uh, that um, that really, really set the tone and the pace. I think even the uh, Prince truly in, embraced the whole video concept of when he was doing his music videos uh, in the future. And... The film itself is like the performances, the, the acting performances, yes, were lacking, but the music performances were great. Um, in particular, and the thing that the one thing that stuck with me 30 years later was this performance of Purple Rain at the end. Um, 
where he basically he goes through a tragedy and uh, and he basically internal internalizes it and then expresses it through his music and this incredible ballad Purple Rain and uh, that's how the movie that leads up to that the creation of Purple Rain the song um, overall I would have to give Purple Rain uh, three stars three stars out of five I mean as as a 14 year old kid that's probably about what I gave it back then and I probably liked it even less because I was kind of bored with all the, the all the other non-musical related stuff. I was just there for the music. And I had to sit, sit through all the other hour, 45 minutes of it just to get through those moments. But um, nowadays I would say, yeah, that, that I'd give it a three out of five stars. It's uh, certainly worth checking out. It's a, it's a, a very nostalgic uh, looking back at movies, uh, especially uh, musical related films from the 80s. And um, also very nostalgic just to look back on the, the uh, acting performances of Prince and, uh, and some of the great tunes that he, uh, he gave us ba back in the early 80s uh, and on. So, uh, yeah, Purple Rain. Rest in peace, Prince. So if you like this review, please hit that like button below. Uh, have you seen Purple Rain? Were you a fan of Prince himself? And as musicians, what was his favorite songs? What was his, your favorite movie of his? I mean, you've only done a few. And uh, please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my reviews as they come in. And also, as a side note, check out my, uh, I included the link to my Rift TV uh, commentary for an episode of The New Girl, which featured Prince. So I think that might be interesting and worth checking out. So until next time, we'll see you at the movies.